Flacco from the gun. Looks right, pumps once. Fires and zone. Caught! Touchdown! Oh! Lee Evans! No! They ruled he didn't hold on to the ball. I feel personally that, that I let everybody down. Snap, ball down. Kick up. Kick is... He hooked it! No good! No good! He missed it! He missed it from 32 yards out! He missed it from 32 yards out! With 11 seconds left in the game! I get paid to make field goals. I get paid to miss field goals. The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, the thing we love are the heroes it creates, and in this case, the unlikely hero, as we say hi to Patriots cornerback Sterling Moore. Sterling, how would you describe just what the last 24 hours have been like for you? Uh, just a whirlwind of emotions. It's, uh, it's been crazy, uh, li living the dream. All right, so it's it's the sure touchdown. It's in Lee Evans' hands. You stick your hand in there. What created this moment in practice? Well, we have a drill that we do every day in practice um, as far as, you know, playing playing the receiver's hands. So some, just something that it's the first time really that it's come up this season for me. So, uh, you know, I had to bring it out of the memory bank. <laughs> What was the best reaction you got from family, friends, fans? What's the best thing you've heard so far? Um, man, just, honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, just just everybody, everybody's been thanking me for you know saving the season and whatnot. But I mean, honestly, it was just trying to make a play to help the team win. It was a great team victory. I, I read that in the huddle on the final drive, your captain, Drod Mayo, gets in there and says. We need to prove to everybody that this that they that this team can count on the defense. What was that like? Do you remember the moment? Yeah, we were out there saying we we want to end this game. Um, we we want to be the ones out there on the field to end the game. So, um, you know, we wanted to prove that you know as great as our offense is, our defense can step up in big games too. Uh, I understand that you were at the Super Bowl last year, but as a fan, what do you anticipate this year to be like? I probably I can't even explain. I mean, it's going to be it, it's going to be a whole lot of emotions. But I'm just going to try to you know soak it in and and treat it like any other game, honestly. Sterling, we really appreciate you checking in with us. Uh, enjoy the moment, and we'll see you in Indianapolis. All right, see you guys there. Well, and obviously the flip side of that is Lee Evans. Here's our own Chris Carter weighing in on that this morning. With 20 some seconds to go, when you catch the ball in the end zone, in traffic, you know you have to go to the ground. It's like a wrestling match. Catching the football, you do not want to be off the ground. You do not want to be high. You want to be get the ball and get on the ground as soon as possible. Because once you get your body on the ground, there's no rule as far as your feet. Any part of your body that hit, so you don't have to worry about your feet. Now all you're trying to do, when he stuck his arm in there, listen, I was in, we were in the viewing room watching the game yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Man, I would have broke that guy's arm. There's 20 seconds to go in the game. He has both hands on the ball. It's a fade stop. Like, there's no need to keep running to, to continue to play. Like, to me, it's a fundamental thing. You have to go to the ground, and his arm was in there. Oh, man, he, that guy would have been, he would have been needing some treatment on that arm. If you had to weigh this, would you say it's, it's a fault of Lee <laughs> Evans or a great play by Moore? Which way would you go if you had to? I thought it was a great play. I do think protecting the catch is important not that I caught a whole ton of passes playing fullback but uh, I prided myself on on tucking that thing away protecting it and it's and it's something that's ingrained it is muscle memory as soon as that ball hits your hands you should bring it in I mean it's that's how you practice yeah. every day you catch it you put it away you catch it you put it away there was no put it away now granted Sterling Moore was stuck very right on him. quick very quick job with the hands getting them in there so those are some skills that you have to admire on Moore's part, but at the same time, should have been different. I think the answer is the answer nobody likes to hear is both. It was a great play by right. Sterling Moore, but Chris Carter, now, understand Chris. Not only should be a Hall of Famer, hopefully this year it works, one of the greatest receivers our game has ever seen. He's an incredible teacher. I have learned more about the receiver position working with Chris the last three years than I learned 14 years playing it, and I had some pretty good receiver coaches on our staff. He teaches nuance. When, when Chris works with receivers at his camps down in South Beach, not South Beach, excuse me, the, the Fort Lauderdale area, 
He teaches. put them on South Beach. He yeah. trains their instincts. He understands the essence of coaching. That's to rep something enough, teach the nuance that it becomes instinctive. That's what he did himself as a player. That's what he did with Randy Moss, Jake Reed, the players he played with. What Chris is saying is real. Unfortunately, not all teachers out there are as good as Chris. So not everybody has that information. All I know is the Ravens made this big trade before the season. They got Lee Evans, gave up a fourth-round draft pick with the, from the Buffalo Bills, and everybody said, this is the missing piece. Torrey Smith wasn't yeah. quite ready. And for Lee Evans, tough season with injuries. This was his moment, and, and it didn't happen for him. Did it didn't turn out to be the missing And it was a heck of a play by piece. Sterling Moore, too.